Are you going through financial problems these days? You currently don't have a job and you don't know how to support yourself and your family. You don't seem to have a good situation. So what have you planned? Do you have patience and courage to find a solution? Or you are slowly giving up and slipping into a state of hopelessness? Have you also recently thought that you don't want to live anymore and probably ending your life was the only solution for you and your loved ones? Well, wait, are you serious about that? Do you really think that ending your life will help you and your family? If you think that way, then you are just fooling yourself. In fact, it is also possible that any such act will only bring more pain for them. Let me share with you the story of David, who was also going through a similar situation. David is 42 years old. He is married and has two kids. Till six months back, he was working as a supervisor in a finance company for past 10 years. He had a happy family and everything was going great until one day when his office informed him that they are closing as his city branch was not making enough profit. David was let go with two months salary as compensation. It has been six months from that day. David has spent all his savings and he has no clue as to how he is going to support his family or everyday expenses or kids school fee etc. He has been trying hard to get a job but recent market situation has not been good enough and he is still out of job. In recent days, he seemed to be more and more worried, losing his interest in things that he once loved. He does not talk to anyone, does not mingle with others during community events. He has also started feeling as if his problems will not go away and he can't live with them anymore. Does it sound more or less similar to your situation? If yes, this is a classic case of giving up and slipping into hopelessness and depression. David started feeling more and more gloomy, weak and tired with every passing day. And then there came a day when he finally decided to quit the life. He arranged a few stuffs to execute his plan. That day he thought to have one final look outside the window of his room. As he looked outside, a gush of breeze hit his face. What he saw outside was pretty beautiful. A sunny day, trees soaking the sunlight, birds singing and chirping as if celebrating the day, crowd of people busy with their work as if trying to keep the world alive. He was amazed and could not remember when was the last time he had looked outside that window. How come he had missed looking at that beautiful world earlier? He looked again at birds. They seemed so carefree, free of any obligations in life, free of worrying about making money. But then he realized they did not have any home and other comforts like he had. They too had to arrange their foods every day. He also looked furtively at those people on the road and wondered if all of them are free from worries similar to him. And what if all of them end up doing the same thing that he was planning to do to run away from their miseries? And he suddenly realized about his family. Will his action help them or only increase their problems? He had no doubt that they will be in more pain, more clueless about their future and would suffer more for a long, long time. Let us take your situation. There is no doubt that you are suffering through one of the hardest phase of your life. But is quitting a solution? Is punishing your family for something that is not their fault, not even yours, is acceptable? Let us face it, you have no money. You have been trying to get a job without luck and you do not know if there is any way out. Does it mean you should give up? 
There is only one answer to this and that is a firm no. This can never be a reason to give up. There are people in much worse condition than you and yet they are trying instead of quitting. Here are a few steps that you can take. Discuss with your family about situation. Identify expenses that should be cut down right away and those that can be minimized. Ask family members suggestions to minimize day-to-day -day expenses, be it closing down mortgages or loans early for things that you don't really need like cars or TV or phones, choosing schools that are more affordable, temporarily reducing expenses like eating out or cars. Saving money should become immediate responsibility for everyone in your family. Next is to find ways to start earning. You should reach out to platforms like LinkedIn, Facebook and professional circles in your contact. Don't feel ashamed to ask for work. It is just a matter when you will have many people coming forward to help you. They may not offer great salary, but anything that helps you sustain during this difficult phase should be acceptable. At the same time, don't stop looking for opportunities. It is important for everyone to remember that each one of us who are having a job can meet such situations in life. With this clear understanding of risk, we all must prepare well ahead so that whenever such difficult situations arise, we are well prepared to face them. Save as much as you can. Keep increasing your earning potential. Help your spouse to get employed. If needed, both of you should keep improving your skills by continued education and keep expenses modest by reining in your aspirations. It is good to be aspirational but stupid to chase them without having means. So control your aspirations. Take care of your health as poor health is one big reason that brings with it bad luck and poverty for you and your family members. Living a stable, meaningful, satisfying life does not have to be difficult unless it gets taken over by greed, recklessness and disdain for core human values. The concepts of management, risk assessment and prevention that we all apply in our professional life must also be used in our personal life to define our goals and prioritize our living habits and expenses. It is up to us to define our life, to decide what matters for me and what not. It is up to us to find ways to live a calm, peaceful life that has a purpose and where we enjoy both struggle as well as success, rather than living a directionless life that soon loses its purpose and leads to a darkness for us and those around us. Choose hope not hopelessness. Choose action, not surrender. Choose hard work, not defeat. And choose life, not death. Live. Don't quit. You can do it. Just try. Talk to us and maybe we can help you in some way. Wishing you a healthy and a very happy life.